Today's video, we're looking at the Musashi Tactical Modern Katana. It's a pretty simple design. Has an interesting handle to it, has pins through it with an exposed tang. Take a look at some specs on this one, up close looks in the scabbard, out of the scabbard, and we'll look at some cut testing. Let's get to it. Overall length of this one's gonna be 39 and one half inches. We have a pretty simple design on this one. This one cut really well. The edge is actually really good on this. It's what you expect to have a more fine edge on a katana. 39 and one half inches overall length. Blade length itself is 29 and one half inches. So good balance to it. It has more of a, somewhat of an acrylic type of, it feels more like G10 on the handle. So we have three pins with exposed tang. We also have a lanyard wrap. I did not really need to use this on the for a wrist wrap, but I still use it in the cut testing. It actually moves a little bit, so it has a little snap that you can tighten this with if you chose, or you can leave that off. I'm sure, and you obviously have a lanyard hole here, so you can run different cord through there if you chose. I think because it's more of a modern tactical katana, this is also for the aesthetics of it as well. Steel quality is going to be a water temper processed 1060 high carbon steel. So you do see a Haman line in this one, which you'll, you might be able to see right now. You might not. But there is a Haman line there. You will see this when we go into the up close looks. Pretty solid blade. Cut really well. Like I said, the edge quality is good. Um, it's functionally sharp as we consider here Colt Athena. Also, you can consider that battle ready. I mentioned again about the handle. It is a G10 like material. So we have the pins. We have the exposed tang on both sides showing you that it's full tang. Short little guard. That way your hand does not run up the blade. There are two holes on the guard right here. Maybe you'll be able to see those. I'll get them in the up close looks as well. The weight on this one is a little bit over two pounds. It's got a thick tang to it. So definitely less on agility and more on a chopping type of blade. So regardless of how you're using this, the grip, plenty of room on this for two hands if you chose. I went with the cut testing with a single grip because that's what I felt most comfortable with. And again, with the wrist wrap, you also have the option to roll this up if you did want more retention on that, extra retention. So that is an option for you. This modern tactical katana does come with a scabbard as well. It is more of a matte finish. You have some extra cord right around the scabbard here. Take that wrist strap off. So you do have paracord running along here and also on the back. It's got a little bit of a pull on the draw, but nothing awkward or nothing strange with it. So pulling that out, a little bit of a tug. It is a wood cord scabbard that it has this kind of flat, more of like a tactical look to it. It's also to keep any type of corrosion, not corrosion, but any type of like water and just like resist water. So water repellent on that. So the draw is good. No problems with getting that out, a little bit of a pull and you're good to go. And finally, last thing to talk about with this one is the sword bag it comes with. It's just a standard sword bag. You can wrap this guy up. There's what it looks like in the bag. Taking that out. Get the wrist wrap on. And you're good to go. Let's take a look at some up close looks of this blade in the scabbard and out of the scabbard so we get some fine details on the hamen and also we'll look at the cut testing. Let's do it. Looking at this one in the scabbard with the sword bag, here's the, there's a little button on this one so that you can change the retention on the cord. There's your lanyard hole and your three pins. This is the more matte finish I was talking about where it's more speckled. This guy over. There's the back of the paracord running up the scabbard. And we have exposed tang on both sides. And also the two holes in the cross guard. Talking about cutting performance, with a katana, you're gonna expect a more fine edge, you're gonna expect clean cuts, and this was no different for this modern tactical katana from Musashi Blades. So, did some cut testing on the tatami, 
did primarily some upward slashes with it in order to test the edge out. There's a little bit of blemish on it. I'm gonna clean that up before I send it back over to Cult of Athena. Let's take a look at how this blade performed. I want to thank you for joining me for this review of the Musashi Tactical Modern Katana. So this one is an interesting design. If you're looking something in more of the tactical category, this may be the blade for you to buy this one. Click the link in the description below this video to check this out. We have plenty of other Musashi blade reviews as well, so check those out on the channel. As always, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and we'll see you in the next one.